There is a new COVID-19 case in Dallas County. It is a presumptive positive case, meaning it tested positive at a state or local lab, and it will have to be confirmed by the CDC. Yeah, as you can read there, the patient is in their 50s and traveled out of state to what's being described as a large congregate recreational event. We know they're from Irving and being treated at a hospital in our area. The health department says this patient is not connected to the other two cases in Dallas County. We are expecting an update from the health department in Dallas County within the next hour. As soon as that news conference starts, we will take it live. You know, we knew it was a matter of time before cases appeared here, and today the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. That means the disease has spread worldwide beyond what public health experts would consider an outbreak. And of course, we've certainly seen an increase in activity here in North Texas. Right. Health officials are still tracing the steps now of a pastor who was diagnosed with the virus in Tarrant County. Eric Alvarez joins us live from Fort Worth with what you learned today. Well, I can tell you right now, Trinity Episcopal Church here in Fort Worth is closed. The staff here tells me, however, that is not because the inside of the building is unsafe in any way. Rather, they are canceling functions. They are canceling services. They simply do not want large groups of people gathering here to worship. This, of course, after the head pastor, Reverend Dr. Robert Pace, was taken to the hospital after testing presumptive positive for COVID-19. So, of course, our first concern is always for uh, Dr. Pace and his wife. Janet Wagoner is the assistant to the bishop for the Episcopal Diocese of Fort Worth. She says while the church remains closed, the space has been given the all clear by the CDC and the Tarrant County Department of Public Health. We are working very closely with the Public Health Department to make sure that we are taking all of the steps needed to make sure that folks are safe. Wagoner says Pace started feeling sick February 27th and left the church to recover. He was not on the property on March 3rd when 389 people cast their ballots in the building on Super Tuesday. Dr. Pace had not been here uh, for days prior to uh, this being a polling place. Wagoner says Pace returned for a brief service March 4th. There were about 45 individuals present at that gathering um, and uh, we have phone numbers for all of those folks and the public health department will reach out to all of those folks probably today. It's still unclear exactly how Pace came into contact with the coronavirus, but last month he attended an Episcopalian church conference in Louisville, Kentucky. Organizers say at least one other attendee from Washington, D.C. has tested presumptive positive for COVID-19. Wagoner says she has not spoken to Pace directly, but says the diocese will help run things in his absence through services that for now will be held in an empty sanctuary and streamed online and support through faith during a difficult time. People are scared and what I'd like to say is that God loves us, God cares for us, and God often does that through the hands and feet of our neighbors. So use this opportunity uh, to care for one another. Right now, Dr. Pace is recovering at an area hospital. His wife, Dr. Jill Walters, remember she tested negative and I'm told right now she's not showing any symptoms. However, she is under a self quarantine right now. She is at home now. She is a chaplain over at All Saints Episcopal over in West Fort Worth. However, the school tells WFAA they do not plan to close, simply saying the uh, Tarrant County Department of Public Health has advised them that is not necessary. Live in Fort Worth, I'm Eric Alvarez.